We continue to focus on the fort, but here first. The first Indiana-based nonpartisan nonprofit held a forum this afternoon. They address issues regarding our health care system, criminal justice system, and voter equity. Reporter Vince Leveraging tells us how local candidates running for office would address these issues. Louie, this forum was held via Zoom and moderated by Cornelius Hawker of WRTV6 Indianapolis News. Many people who are running for local office positions address their stances on the COVID-19 pandemic and mental health issues. We're not handling COVID as a pandemic. That's the reaction from Melissa Fisher, who's running for Allen County Council at large this election. COVID-19 cases are rising in the Hoosier state, and she says it affects people's mental health. From a mental perspective, we see the suicides are, are, are up. We see um, just in general, people are not getting the services that they need because they're not accessible. And another topic discussed, the health care system. Pablo Gerardo, who's running for Indiana House of Representatives District 85, says several minority communities lack adequate resources. In our black and brown communities, you know, as you've seen, COVID rates are higher and there's still a large stigma on mental health within these communities. And it is part of our responsibility to ensure that these communities have access to mental health resources and also have access to adequate testing. The state of Indiana is currently in stage five of the reopening phase and Jorge Fernandez, who's on the ballot this year, says the government could have handled the crisis more effectively. Non-essential businesses opening up so quickly uh, was like a drain on PPE when teachers, essential workers are kind of, you know, have been struggling to get PPE. Uh, personal protective equipment. And after many of the candidates learned about President Donald Trump and the First Lady testing positive for COVID-19, some expressed their sympathy and talked about how this virus can affect anyone, including Susan Marie Smith. With respect to COVID-19 and our, and our president, yes, our hearts go out to him. And um, it does show that it can impact all of us. Many people who are running for office say that the voting for this upcoming election is very important to have your voice heard. And for more information about this forum, I'll have a link in this story on FortWayne'sNBC.com.